Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on Hyundai Solaris. Considering that the choice of engines on Solaris is limited to only two options, there are unexpectedly many different gearboxes. There are two mechanical boxes. The first is a 5-speed M5CF11 on all cars with 1.4-liter engines and cars with a 1.6-liter engine before restyling. After restyling with an older engine, a stronger and more resourceful 6-speed M6CF1 was offered. Both of them are with a cable shift mechanism and are completely interchangeable. Even the stutter and axle shafts are the same with them. Automatic transmissions are represented by the good old A4CF1 4-speed gearbox and the A6GF1 6-speed gearbox on cars after restyling with a 1.6-liter engine. Since the cars are strictly front-wheel drive, no special vulnerable notes can be found here. Therefore, we will try to find fault. For example, the resource of CV joints could be higher. On cars with 1.6-liter engines, they run until extraneous sounds and vibration appear on the order of 150-180,000 km. Nominally, only the assembled drives change, but in practice, they have all the hinges separately, both external and internal and at very moderate prices, about 15,000 troubles per hinge. However, it may be more profitable to take the entire drive assembly, only about 10,000 troubles, and you have a completely new factory part. Moreover, the splines of the shaft are rather weak, and the pipe itself is thin, and on aging machines may have deviations in geometry, which generates vibrations that are difficult to diagnose. Five-speed gearboxes will stand the torque of a 1.4-liter engine well, especially for calm drivers, but with a 1.6-liter engine, the resource of the box can be before the first annually. A significant part of the owners are faced with an increase in the noise level of this manual transmission after a run of 100-120,000 km. If you ignore the need for a bulkhead, then soon the remnants of the shafts and bearings will fall either under the axle of the differential satellites or between the case of the box and the gear wheel of the final drive, and it will end sadly. For example, destruction of the box body, oil leakage and replacement of the entire box. By the way, this mechanic had problems with oil seals, so the oil level must be seriously monitored. Fortunately, repairs are relatively inexpensive, and at the initial stage it's possible to have time to replace only the seals, bearings and synchronizer rings and ensure at least another 100,000 more trouble-free mileage. But if the box is broken, then it's better to put a sixth step. It is stronger and its installation doesn't require replacing either the stage or the starter and drives. Their compatibility is perfect. The six-speed mechanics of the M6 CF1 are noticeably stronger, break down much less often and can even be supplied with a 1.4-liter engine. The gear rations are not so stretched, so at 3000 revolutions per minute in sixth gear, the car will go at a speed of only 110-115 km per hour. Automatic transmissions are generally reliable, especially the 4-speed A4 CF1, which could easily go through 200,000 even without changing the oil. These are slightly modified Mitsubishi units of the F4 A42 series, already produced in Korea. The design is conservative, the software is awesome, so along with the reliability, unfortunately, the owner will still receive unimportant dynamics with high fuel consumption. The main problems are associated with the wear of the valve body solenoids during prolonged operation with dirty oil. The box doesn't suffer from overheating, but minor electrical troubles are quite possible. The wiring here is delicate and doesn't really like operation at elevated temperatures. When buying a car with mileage of about 180-200 thousand, you need to carefully look at the state of the automatic transmission. An unkempt unit will soon require repair. The box, which is lucky with gentle operation and regular oil change, can travel another 100-150 thousand kilometers. The upper limit of the design for the resource of the planetary gear is in the region of 350-400 of thousand kilometers. Intermediate repairs with runs of the order of 200 to 150,000 km are usually not too expensive, unless the box was killed on purpose. Basically, it is limited to replacing coarse pistons, rings and oil seals, cleaning, cleaning the well body and replacing part of the solenoids. Sometimes a revision of packages is required, especially in cars with a 1.6-liter engine. The 6-speed automatic transmission is much more delicate, which is especially noticeable against the background of an unpretentious 4-speed. Regular oil change or even the installation of an external filter is a prerequisite for it to reach 200,000 mileage in a relatively live state. Moreover, regularly in this case means at least once every 40,000 km and better even more often. 
The old box contaminates instensively and oil heats up well too. The wear of the blocking linings of the gas turbine engine is often found on the cars with of active drivers. After 150,000 mileage, they can be worn out to zero, which causes an avalanche-like contamination of the oil by the products of the destruction of the adhesive layer. With the same mileage, drivers who are more accurate but neglect oil changes begin to have problems with well body contamination and solenoid failure. First of all, blind pressure regulator and blocking. With a combination of negative factors, problems begin even earlier, often with runs of less than 100,000. This machine also has several childhood diseases. In particular, destruction of the underdrive brake package caused by unscrewing the hub bolts. During repairs, this unit is assembled onto a track thread lock, but this was not done at the factory until 1213. Due to the increased load or due to a drop in pressure from the valve body, 3, 5R and 2, 6 packages sometimes burn. The overdrive package often loses pressure due to dirty oil, honey and worn oil rings. In general, some advantages in the dynamics of machines with this machine is pretty much overshadowed by a decrease in the total resource and significantly higher maintenance requirements. The book requires frequent oil changes and is very supportive of the installation of an external radiator and an external oil filter, which can significantly reduce the number of problems on the part of the valve body. And the later a car with it was released, the better this automatic transmission was constantly being improved during the production process. In case of problems, you should not buy used boxes from 2010-2013 cars, it is better to repair your box of a later period. Only two engines were installed on Solaris. Both motors belong to the Gamma series and they are almost identical in design. The 1.6 liter engine is the J4FC and the 1.4 liter engine is called the J4FA. They differ only in piston stroke, crankshaft, connecting rods and pistons. The blocks are completely the same, aluminum with direct cast iron sleeves and with a cylinder diameter of 77mm. On the first generation Solaris, the motor versions with only one phase shifter was installed. The timing chain drive is chain and the resource of the chain is not outstanding, about 120-150,000. But on the other hand, the replacement price is slightly higher than that of a belt. In addition to some savings on the materials of the coolant system and motor electrics, in particular the ignition modules, and the radiator fan, these motors do not cause any complaints. The manufacturer honestly decla declares that the engine will travel 180,000 km. Unfortunately or fortunately, depending on what mileage you buy the car, it is true. Up to 150-180,000 motors behave very well. Knocks and vibrations after hundreds of thousands are more often associated with the violation of well clearance and aging of the timing. There is a known zero chance of oil leakage along the engine rear cover due to a loose fit of the oil duct plug, but this usually happens during the warranty period. Symptoms are similar to a leaking crankshaft rear oil seal, but unlike its breakdown, they are a warranty breakdown up to the age of 5 years. If the engine is not overheated, a small oil consumption appears only after 100,000 mileage. But after 150, the oil consumption begins to grow, and after 180 to 200, the engine goes up to the capital. It would seem that there are cast iron sleeves, which are quite reliable on most motors, but not everything is so simple. The piston of this engine doesn't like overheating very much. The rings coke well. A catalyst with an unsuccessful design begins to dust intensively after hundreds of thousand kilometers. It reacts very nervously to cold starts, and it would be nice to change it assembled but the price. The original part cost from 35,000 rubles, so few people dared to change it. The Ford Luft catalyst insert cost less than 5,000, but it's difficult to install it correctly, and the work will cost the same. Its resource is strictly limited to 100,000 mileage, the quality of the insert is also unstable, and it may not withstand a couple of starts in severe sub-zero temperatures. As a result, in most cars the catalyst dusts until the second row of honeycomb clogs up, after which it is knocked out. In this case, the wear of rings and pistons is already very serious. Seizures usually appear on the loaded cylinder wall and a characteristic knock begins to grow. Repair is complicated by the fact that there are no oversized pistons for these motors. You can order domestically produced forging or casting, but their quality is often in doubt. Therefore, the main way to repair gamma serial motors is to install a thin walled cast iron sleeve. Contrary to legend, there is no illusion from the factory, just the original sleeve is poured into the block and its edge is not visible from above. 
by the way, if the catalyst is removed or replaced in time, then the piston group resource will be more than 300,000 km. True, seizures are possible with the working catalyst. In this case, the reason usually lies in the back of proper warming up before the load mode. In winter, the engine must be worn up and a little longer than typical modern engines, at least 5 minutes, and do not give the load at all until it warms up completely, move in a whisper. In the summer, you just need to make it a rule to warm up for, for up to 2 or 3 minutes and again more gently and smoothly for the first few kilometers. The reckless drivers had seizures already with runs less than 50,000, so this is a rather serious problem associated with reduced piston clearances. In addition to the almost inevitable scoring, minor electrical problems and leaks of the cooling system after 150,000 runs, you should expect wear of the motor suspension, deterioration of the throttle operation and the appearance of intake leaks. With low mileage, the motors are quite reliable and with intensity work, for example in a taxi, they can travel up to 400,000 km without repairs and even without replacing the catalyst. On this information about the problems of Hyundai Solaris, one is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.